Hello, I'm making this video to demonstrate how to replace a, a laptop LCD screen. Um, I have a Lenovo ThinkPad E45, sorry, E545 model. And we'll be replacing the screen for this shortly. Um, one of the things that uh, you'll want to do initially is Basically, these uh, rubber tacks are set on top of these these screws. You're going to want to remove them. There's four of them. There's one up here, um, basically one on each side. And then there's two um, towards the bottom here. And you, you can see that I already removed the tack down here and on this side as well. And you can use a um, two-sided uh, screwdriver, a small screwdriver, to remove those or um, you can use an exacto knife or something that is um, thin enough to be able to remove the little tacks um, and then once you're able to do that you're going to want to find uh, a couple of Phillips screwdrivers to match the screws um, to go ahead and open up the screws so since I've already removed the tacks um, I'm going to go ahead and get started and unscrew the little screws Okay, um, I have removed all four of the screws here. Uh, the difficult ones were the ones back here uh, towards the bottom. Um, and I actually had to use a couple of different sc uh, screwdrivers uh, to be able to get those off properly. And um, in fact, I had to use a, a, a two-headed one because I don't have a screwdriver that was um, exactly uh, matching the screws in there. So. Um, you're, you're going to want to get something that's a little bit smaller than usual, but uh, make sure you don't uh, put too much pressure on the screws to mess those screws up. Um, now that we have those out, we're going to turn the laptop on its side. And the next step is to basically pull this top of the screen. Just stick your fingernails under there and basically just pull that off. You'll start to hear some snapping sounds. And you're going to want to do that. Um, basically all around the laptop so just basically just pop it off and uh, you can just slowly go off from one direction to another and it's eventually going to come right off okay so the bezel is pretty much off and I'm going to remove this here the next step is to um, Basically, just take the screws on the side of the monitor. We're going to want to remove these screws. There's four of them. There's one there um, and one right there as well. And there's one down here as well. So there's actually one, two, three on each side. So there's three on each side and they're pretty small, it's about the same size as the um, as the screws initially on the, on the top of the screen. So we're going to go ahead and remove those. Okay, so as I was working through the screens here, the screen, the side screen here, uh, trying to work on the nails, as I mentioned there's three of them here, you'll notice that the one at the bottom um, is really tight stuck really tight in there and it's kind of hard to get into even if you go into an angle um, the one way to uh, make your life a little bit easier in terms of getting access to that screw is to slightly unscrew these two screws um, on the side down here there's two of them on each side two there and then on the same on this other side the same thing so you don't want to unscrew that maybe one or two revolutions um, and that will loosen things up for us and enable the access to that last screw towards the bottom. So I went ahead and did that and I will go ahead and proceed to unscrew those uh, six screws, three on each side. So the screen is, is out and the next thing we'll want to do is basically put it flat on its front side and we're going to want to essentially take Take this off. Okay, so now that we have the screen on its front side, there's two adhesives that we're going to want to 
um, basically strip out or open up. There's one which is this part right here that connects the main, um, essentially the motherboard to the to the monitor, and it has an adhesive that you're going to want to strip off a little bit. There we go. So this side's off, and then you're going to want to do the same thing for the one underneath here as well. And uh, once you're able to do that, you should be able to see what's underneath. Okay, so here's the new screen um, that I purchased. And so we're going to go through the same steps that we went through earlier, except do it backwards, of course. So I'm going to lay the screen flat on its front side. And you'll notice that this, uh, this little prong uh, with a chip on the back uh, needs to be facing uh, towards the, the back of the laptop. So uh, just like the, the previous one. So we're gonna, we're gonna wanna basically put this back in and you just gotta make sure you line it up properly. So this is gonna go in really easy. And trying to do this with one hand is not the easiest thing in the world, but there we go. So it's in there. Um, there should be no spaces in between there, as you can see. And once it's in there, it should be good. You just want to make sure you secure it a little bit more. You don't need to, don't need to push it too hard. And then go ahead and put the adhesive back on there. And I'm going to go ahead and sort out the rest of this so that it pretty much stays out of the way here. And now we are ready to basically screw things back in to the um, to the side of the, the monitor, the new monitor. So now that this is in place, uh, the next step is to take the, uh, the six screws that we took off the side and we're gonna pick this up and put it back up and screw in the, side, the, the three, um, three screws on the sides on each side and three screws on each side and towards the bottom here if you did go in and loosen up those screws um, you're going to want to make sure you tighten those back up again uh, remember we um, we had to basically unscrew that one or two revolutions to get to this third screw towards the bottom on each side so if you did unscrew these a little bit, you're going to want to go back and screw them back in. And uh, that should tie it in pretty securely. And then the last step will basically be to put the faceplate back on and uh, put the four screws back on. And uh, that'll, that'll get you situated. So one of the things that you're going to want to do before you put the screws in is push hard on the sides. If you remember, we uh, this is kind of how we opened it up before. We basically unclipped these and now you gotta snap them back in. So make sure you, you do that before you put the screws in. Okay, the faceplate is back on and I have put all the screws in. Um, the four screws and, and the rubber tacks on top of each screw. And so we're ready to go ahead and test it out. So the first thing we're gonna do is close the lid flip this over and grab the battery and put the battery in, flip it back over and all the screws are out of the way and what I'm going to do is go ahead and start it up and if it turns on then we are golden. So everything is uh, in working condition and as soon as you see the light come on uh, with the windows uh, logo up then you know you're in good shape. So uh, this, is, uh, this is it for the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching and good luck.